across the political divide, across social and professional groupings, among the youth, you hear complaints and stories concerning state capture, where this government has chosen to use its power, not in the broader interest of all Ghanaians, but to favor a small clique. What is that? John and I have agreed that whoever has participated in the plunder of the state must be held accountable. And my friends, this is not a threat. It is a promise. It is a promise which is premised on the wishes of our citizens across the political divide. And it is hinged on the principle of accountability. Let us face the facts. Today, what do we hear? Is the promotion of ethnocentric elitism, which is masquerading as intellectualism. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is elitism masquerading as intellectualism. It is weakness strutting as courage. And crony capitalism must as development in freedom. It is shameless hypocrisy pretending to be objective. This will never move our country forward. Rather, the most significant achievement of all these has been a country in near insolvency. Its natural resources such as water, land, and even the environment in rebellion. A people harassed and intimidated into numbness. And as some will say cynically, some of us also bribed into silence.